myself dr kanya agrawal i am a dm endocrinologist practicing in gorakhpur uttar pradesh so today i will be discussing about fifth dose combination of ranagripin and empagliflozin as you know that the type 2 diabetes mellitus is a most common non communicable disease and uh, with a prevalence of around 7 to 11 percent the actual figure is about half of the iceberg but what we are seeing is on the tip of the iceberg so with this uh, most of the patient come to us with hb1c of more than 7 that sometimes 8 9 10 or sometimes 15 also so every aspect has different scenario but most commonly we used to start with the oral anti diabetic medication so what are the benefits to start the oral anti diabetic medication is that we have to take care of the multiple metabolic defects when it is associated with the type of diabetes mellitus as you know that it is a progressive disease which can lead to to the various microvascular and macrovascular complications however this complication can be taken care by the oral anti diabetic medication but when we need to start the fish combination we look here that the it should be durable there should not be failure of the any single anti diabetic medications so with this i would like to share one case scenario of 58 year old male with the type 2 diabetes of 4 years and he was obese with bmi of 32 kg per meter square hypertensive dyslipidemic and currently the blood pressure of 1382 his hbnc is 8.3 the egfr of 70 ldl 69 axial 35 triglycerides 250 mg per deciliter and currently he is on metformin 1000 mg twice daily he is on uh, various anti hypertensive as ace inhibitor beta blocker and also on the statin so what to do the next for him so looking that as he is a type 2 diabetes obese hypertensive as gmi of 32 and uncontrolled diabetes mellitus so as you know that ada recommends the hbnc should be less than 7% for most of the cases however it's individualized in some old age and patient with the comorbidities as this gentleman is do not have any comorbidity other than hypertension and obesity so we have to take care of this both obesity hypertension dyslipidemia along with the good glycemic control so what we need to start the other anti medications definitely we would like to take care of these complications so first will come in our mind with the agil2 inhibitors so as you know that empagliflozin is one of the agil2 inhibitor has shown to have various good effect in the cardiovascular death it prevents the cardiovascular death it reduces the cardiovascular mortality it also reduces the heart failure it prevents the hospitalization from the heart failure it also takes care of uh, your weight it reduces 2 to 3 kg of the weight it also improves the renal function it reduces the macroalbuminuria sometimes also shown to reduce the macroalbuminuria it is also has uh, various uh, good effect in the hbnc control it has been shown to reduce the hbnc of around 1 to 1.5% but when we are thinking to have a hbnc of target of less than 7% we have to think of some fixtures combination another group of drug in the oral diabetic is the dpp4 inhibitors so as we think about the renal prevention the two drugs comes in our mind however the most specific is the ranagliptin when we think about the ranagliptin as a trial we know that carbamazepine trial and carbamazepine trial this trial has been shown to reduce both cardiovascular disease prevention and shown to be reduce the death by cardiovascular disease So when we think to start the unexpected combination along with metformin, we definitely think for the linagliptin and empagliflozin fixtures combination therapy. These both drugs in itself has been shown to reduce the HbA1c of around 1.8 percent. It has been shown to reduce the heart failure. It has been shown to reduce the 3P maze, that is major adverse cardiovascular events, cardiovascular death, and also shown to reduce the CKD progression and also reduces the patient requirement for the hemodialysis. So, empagliflozin is the available as the first in class treatment in AGL2 inhibitors and DPP4 in combination group of drugs. So, when we are about to start uh, these drugs, we think of various other conditions as what about the weight loss. So, this group of drugs, as we know that uh, DPP4 inhibitors is a weight neutral drug, and when we are giving in combination the empagliflozin, empagliflozin will reduce the weight by around two to three kg. in over 3 to 6 months however later on the blood weight will be stabilized how does it reduce the heart failure so it causes the diuresis natriuresis and also reduces the intra along with intravascular fluid overload it also reduces the intracellular fluid also so it has the various good role in the cardiac remodeling so with that 
is shown to reduce the progression of the cardiovascular disease in such patients. So, advanced decrement by the EMPA and DINA is around 1.81% as I told earlier over the 24 weeks in metformin treated groups. The benefits on the glycemic control were maintained at 2 weeks in metformin treated groups and in higher percentage of patients achieving the advanced of less than 7% were reported for combinations. The combination offers a suitable component in the strategy to achieve the target HbA1c without increased risk of the hypoglycemia and weight gain with improvement in overall lipid profile also. So the reduction in the incidence of genital infection is also shown to be associated with the agile 2 inhibitors, but when DPP was added, the risk of genital infection was also shown to be reduced. And this uh, reduction in the uh, genital infection may be because of the betterment in the glycemic control. However, there may be some other mechanism, it is still under the uh, investigation. So, to summarize about the AMP and DINA combination, it provides a robust HbA1c reduction and two to four times higher of the patient reaching the goal of HbA1c compared to the individual agents with low hypoglycemic risk. So, in such individuals of uh, type 2 diabetes with uh, obesity, with hypertension, and the risk of the cardiovascular disease in the future, these combinations might be a game changer for such individuals. So I'd like to thank the Lupin team to provide me opportunity to talk on this fixed-risk combination. Thank you.